I've seen a lot of posts about abstract 3D wall art made with plaster. And if I see it and I like it, I'm gonna try and recreate it myself because those are expensive. If you buy it, it's gonna be expensive. But if you make it, it's gonna be half the price, maybe even less. And we're looking to have a luxurious home in 2024. DIY style. Um, so I'm gonna go to Michael's and I'm gonna buy all the ingredients we need to make it. I just wanna have a nice home. I think this will add a little bit of spice if you're feeling the same way. There's, there's no time to waste, let's go, come on. But of course we're gonna go to Home Goods first because it was just there and I just love being in Home Goods. But anyway, here's my outfit of the day just because I wanna show you. Okay, now we can go to Michael's. The first thing I got was Elmer's glue. I got like a medium sized one, it was only $5.99. And after that, I'm gonna go ahead and get the white acrylic. $4.99 this was, so everything was pretty affordable. Just trying to find the Plaster of Paris now. I don't know if they have it. Hmm. They didn't have Plaster of Paris at Michael's, but. I guess it's a sign for me to go to Home Depot and see if they have it. If not, I'm gonna buy it online, but it's gonna delay me because I really wanted to do it today. So let's go to Home Depot. So at Home Depot, there was like a really big size of Plaster of Paris, but then there was like a little one right here that was 10.98. I just got this one because I think I'm not gonna need that much. I have everything I need now for my grass wall, moss wall, and Master of Paris to So we're back. We've been everywhere, done everything. I bought the supplies for both the moss wall that I will be making soon and the plaster of Paris 3D, whatever you want to call it, like 3D canvas art. 3D canvas art, okay. Let's get started. I'm going to show you exactly what we're going to need today. All right. Plaster of Paris, water. You got yourself some acrylic glue. I forgot to buy a mixing spatula. So I'm just going to use a couple of sticks, mixing sticks for coffee. And uh, I forgot to buy d this thing to put it on. So we're just going to make do with what we have at home. Random card that I found. I can like this toothbrush so we can get the party started also tissue <sighs> canvases i already have one that i did at a paint and sip i made this but i really like it so i'm gonna use this as my practice run i'm gonna do more later when we get professional because we will by the end of this video on the back of this plaster of paris it says two parts plaster of paris to one part cold water It opens like a milk carton like that. I think the best thing to do is add the powder and then add the water to it. <gasps> I made a hole in the middle. Oops. Cracked a hole in there. Right there. Oh, wow. Might need a bigger bowl. One cup of water. Steamy. I need to stop doing that. Look at my double chin. Let's just do a quarter cup. Oh it's gonna be a bit more. I think half of a quarter cup. I don't know what that is. I'm trying to be as quick as possible. And I think for the paint, we're gonna do half of a quarter cup, okay? Gonna. Yeah? All right, you got that? All right mix that in so then the the quarter the p the glue and the paint would make like 
a quarter cup in total because it's half and half. Half a quarter cup of acrylic and half a quarter cup of glue. Okay, I have no idea if this is going to harden. I have no idea. Absolutely. Oh, my fingers are hurting. It's the texture we have right here. Right here. You see that? There. I've got double camera action. I've set up and prepared. I love checkerboard, checkerboard, pillow, checkerboard pillow over there. And I think that's going to be the easiest design to do start off with. Because I've never done this before and now it's just figuring out how we're going to scoop and let's just pour a little bit on. Can you see what I'm doing better? So I'm just going to put a bit there. That's for the first square. You know what we can do? Serrate the edges. Serrate. I know time is off the essence, so we're just going to quickly snip and create some serration. One's going to go diagonal, one goes straight, one goes diagonal. <laughs> I don't know what this is. <gasps> ah, okay. Blob here. You know what? Why don't we just, let's see how it's... Maybe it's easier to see this. I think so. Have one like this. I'm going this way. Let's get the toothbrush. Let's see if that's gonna help us. Let's see what effect this has. Okay, okay. Okay, toothbrush. This looks nice. Maybe the toothbrush is better. But I just wanna make it look like it's going this way, then this way of texture. I think we're done. I do like, I don't think I'm going to do that anymore. But here it is. You can't, oh god, there's a hair on it. This is what it looks like right now. Okay. I'm gonna wait for it to dry. And then I'm going to give it a little lick of paint. Here's a close up. The next day I decided to do the same thing again but on my two bigger canvases that I had. I actually painted the one that I just did but it didn't look cute. I did black and white but it didn't look cute. I just decided to repaint it white again. But anyway, for this round, um, now that we know what we're doing, we're doing the same measurements as we did last time which is one cup of water, two cups of plaster of Paris and then half a quarter cup of glue and half a quarter cup of acrylic white paint. We're just going to mix that in. This is the consistency that I had and you just keep on stirring it until it gets thicker. And I'm just going to play around with it because, but this time I'm going to use my hands and bless my nails. I just got them done but I know that plaster of Paris won't damage them or anything because they're gel but yeah. I decided to get my hands dirty on this one and not use any tools and um, see what I could come up with but yeah this was fun it was a little bit messy but you know that mixture that i did works a charm like it didn't dry too quickly i didn't feel like it was drying too quickly so this these measurements were great loved it I also decided to play around with like tissue and see what textures that tissue could make but you can try anything uh, this was just me experimenting just having a little bit of fun I don't know what I'm gonna do with these textured canvases but we'll see I don't know but yeah play around as you please you can use different strokes with your hands you can use different strokes with your fingers you can use a brush you can use a comb whatever but yeah this is all fun this is all it's all it's just art isn't it just make it look how you want to make it look but yeah 
I was very happy with how these came out. I don't know what I'm gonna do with these afterwards, but here is a close up. I really hope you enjoyed this video and that my measurements and my methods are gonna help you out on your journey. I'll see you in the next one. I'm planning to make a, a green moss framed piece. That's my next video. It should be coming up soon. But anyway, I hope you have a great week. I will see you soon. Thank you.